Now dialyzer designs, the dialyzer is a uh, fiber, is a hollow fiber part of the machine, part of the dialysis machine and through this the blood, blood passes for dialysis to occur. So there is transfer of solutes and water across the cell, semi permeable membrane. There is flow of blood and there is flow of dialysate. So blood already we discussed right blood will come like this from the patient and it will go back into the patient okay similarly here there will be inlet and outlet for the dialysate the dialysate will come like this and go back like this so here the flow of blood will be like this flow of dialysate will be like this okay so the flow of the blood and dialysate is separated and is counter current counter current is it's going in opposite direction so that at any point in time blood will be exposed to dialysate which has uh, zero quantity of urea and creatinine so that maximum not just urea creatinine all uremic solute so that maximum ultra maximum diffusion and convection can occur okay so it has four ports one is an inlet port one is an inlet port this is the inlet port for the blood and this is the outlet port for the blood Again, this is the inlet port for the dialysate and this is the outlet port for the dialysate. Okay. So the transport process across the membrane happens by two mechanisms. First one is diffusion, second one is convection, which is also called as ultrafiltration. So diffusion is where through which smaller solutes pass from a lower con from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. Whereas convection is a large amount of fluid passing through the pores. I'll uh, explain this again in detail. So convection is a larger solute will move along with this water through the uh, bigger pores so that larger molecules are removed. Okay. So the most effective design in this is a hollow fiber dialyzer. So whatever dialyzer that you are seeing currently will be a hollow fiber dialyzer that you are seeing in the hospitals. Okay. Uh, these fibers have high efficiency and low resistance for the passage of blood and dialysate. Now this is the same thing. So if you see from the arterial line, I had discussed about this arterial line and the venous line when I uh, mentioned the fistula chapter uh, where in the same fistula the distal part is called as the arterial line. From there the blood goes into the dialysis machine and given back into the venous line which is in the same fistula but it is more proximal and then it enters back into the heart right. So it comes into the arterial line and then here it goes into the blood pump and from there it enters into the dialyzer. Here if you see this is the inlet for the blood and this is the outlet for the blood again here this is the inlet for the dialysate and outlet for the dialysate then again it it will go here into the venous chamber here it will have a air monitor because if air is there then the blood cannot be returned back into the body so air monitor will be there and then the blood goes back into the body so this is the blood circuit okay so we know that the extracorporeal circuit has a blood circuit it also has a dialyzer and a dialysate circuit so here also there is a circuit through which the dialysate enters into the uh, dialyzer so that circuit I'll be dealing with next